Okay, so the next lesson is busting notary myths. There is a lot of people that have very strong opinions about our industry, and I'm just here to talk about and unpack some of the things that I hear that I don't necessarily agree with. So the first one is that notary work or being a notary public is super old fashioned. I don't agree because there is so much innovation constantly going on. I 100% don't agree. It's not always a stamp and driving around to the different places, which also is not old fashioned. That's not something that's old fashioned anyway, but I do think that it's a very innovative, new up and coming industry constantly. It's constantly changing, constantly evolving. There's always something new to learn. So I do not think that is this is an old fashioned job. I just don't. The second one is that it is oversaturated. That is something that I heard when I first started out, that the market is oversaturated with notaries, and I don't agree, again, because as I'm going out and doing these marketing trips and networking and doing all of these things, there are law firms, there are construction companies, there are people that have never been approached by a notary to be able to get that work. So while there might be a lot of notaries in general, there are not notaries that are going out and getting that business that is essentially ripe for the picking, I think, because I'm out in the field all the time and they're like, I've never even heard of that. It, it happens all the time. That's essentially one of the most common things that I explain or you know say is the whole education process of what i actually do and you know what i can bring to the table as a notary so i don't think that it's oversaturated i definitely think that there's room for growth and income opportunity for notaries so i don't agree <laughs> the third one is that you cannot make a substantial income from remote online notarization and I just don't think that's true at all. I think the misconception comes from the state saying that you can only charge a certain amount, which is 100% true. You can only charge a certain amount for the actual notarizations or for the stamps. So you wanna look into charging for your skill set. So whether it be the technology fee, your time, your skill, if you look up how you can structure loan signings, you are charging for a service rather than the notarization. But all, again, follow your state guidelines. Do not take my word for it. Look this up yourself. But there are definitely different ways to structure fees to be able to make an income so that it makes sense for you to jump into this career. All of these notaries that are out there are not doing this for free. So they have families to feed as well. We have a very specialized skill set for most of these things. And if we are getting into the industries, we are knowledgeable on how to fill out and prepare these documents. That's a skill set that we can charge for. The other thing is that it's monotonous. It is not. <laughs> I was asked the other day, does it ever get boring? And the answer is no. There is always something new to learn. There is always a different thing that I find out about that I want to learn about. So just as an example, I was on social media. Someone was asking me a question about it and they said something about skip tracing. There are always going to, there is always going to be different things that you encounter that is not going to be the same. I've never had the same day twice. So. It is always something <laughs> interesting, weird, a little bit, it, it can sometimes be chaotic, but it is not boring. It depends on how you structure it. I guess if you're doing the same thing over and over again, you can, but at the same time, I worked at a bank for 10 years. Did I think that it was the most interesting? No, um, but it helped me I mean, paid the bills and then I did other stuff in my downtime. So it's just how you look at it and how you structure your day and your lifestyle and what industries you decide to bring into your business to be able to work with. It's a, it is what you make of it, but no, I definitely don't think that it's boring. <laughs>
The other thing is that you have to be good at tech. If you know anything about me, you know that I am not tech savvy. I struggle very much with my Wi-Fi setup when I move to a new house. I struggle with trying to upload these videos. I struggle very much with pretty much every aspect of technology. I, I don't know. But what I will say is that once you figure out the system, this is just a cheerleader for if someone is also tech challenged. Once you figure out the system of Blue Notary and then once you figure out the system for scheduling and getting everything set up, the whole purpose of going through and doing the hard work now is so that later on it's easy for you. So set up the automations now, set up the scheduling, learn the system, learn Blue Notary, go through all of the things so that it's back and forth. And then once you are at a point where everything is set up, it'll be so much easier. I promise, I promise. It's just the initial set up for all of the different systems that are something that you are just going to have to grit through if you are anything like me. It's just the way that it is. You just gotta grit through it, but definitely Blue Notary, the platform is one of the easiest things to learn. Go through, we have the free course that you can go through and learn everything and then just go through the systems and really get everything scheduled and set up in a way that you don't have to deal with the tech as much. That is pretty much it. Make sure to prep the signers so that way you aren't on the phone walking people through everything. If you are tech challenged, it's definitely not a detriment. And I, I got through it, so you, you can too. And then that is pretty much all of the notary myths that I see all the time as far as our industry. You'll run into other ones when you are explaining what you do to different people but those are the most common and my take on each of them. So yeah, thank you for sitting down and sharing your time with me.